video is going to walk you through this first exercise. You can follow along with me. You'll need access to a computer with Microsoft Excel on it or some other spreadsheet program and Microsoft Project or some other project management software. What we're going to do here is we're going to start out um, calculating the TE values for each task in an Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to do all these steps here that are listed under the reference information. We're going to put those values into Microsoft Project so we can figure out what the critical path is. We're going to enter those uh, values for the tasks on the critical path into the PERT calculator. And then we're going to estimate probabilities that our project will complete within a given time period. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually start up Microsoft Excel so I can calculate these TE values and start a blank workbook. Now you may want to pause this video in order to kind of catch up because I'm going to do a lot of copying and pasting so you don't have to suffer through watching me enter all this information in manually. I'm going to enter my formula here uh, for the TE time value, which is the optimistic plus four times the most likely plus the pessimistic divided by six. And I'm going to calculate that for all the given tasks. At this point, what I need to do next is to figure out the critical path. So I'm going to launch Microsoft Project, and hopefully it will do that for me without incident. So start up Microsoft Project, start a blank project, and I'm going to then take all of these particular items, I'm going to just paste them in for my task names, and then I'm going to take these TE values and paste them in as well for my durations. Now you could round these up or down if you would like. Um, that's not a problem. We would have just slightly different values, but we're going to be really close. Now the example in the student workbook gives you predecessor information using letters and not numbers that Microsoft Project is going to require, but I can quickly translate those and build up my network. Now what I want to do here is gather some information about my project. I have the duration, I have the predecessor information. So now for example I could um, put in a summary task. So if I insert a task above here that just says summary and indent all the items underneath that, I can see that this is approximately 122 days. Now I would like to know, I know the probability that it actually occurring within 122 days is probably about 50 percent, but I'd like to be able to um, figure out what is the um, duration that we could shoot for that would give me a better probability of being completed. So the next step here is to actually look at those tasks on the critical path. So those are those things that actually define how long our project will take. Now I can highlight them and select them and do things of that nature, but instead what I'm going to do is actually filter for them so I will only see those critical path tasks. The next step um, is to actually download the spreadsheet that I provided for you so that you can easily make these calculations. You could obviously make your own spreadsheet and you could put in things such as figuring out the standard deviation variance, but this might be a little bit easier. I'm just going to click on the uh, direct download. It's going to ask you to log in and create a Dropbox account. You don't have to do that. Notice here at the bottom, you can say no thanks. Continue to download. It will download the spreadsheet. 
once I open it, I'm going to enable editing of it. And I'm going to put in my critical path tasks. So, whoops, I already had something else on my clipboard. Let me go back and gather those out of project again. Once those are entered, whoops, so then pasted quite right. Let me try it again here. There we go. Those are all pasted in. Um, now I don't want to paste in the TE values here. What I really want to do is I want to have the optimistic, typical, and pessimistic um, so that this spreadsheet can actually do the calculations to figure out the variances. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go back to my original exercise, and whenever I see a critical path task, I'm going to come over and paste those values in. Or you could obviously just enter those values as well. This is a fairly simple analysis just to get you familiar with the idea that we can estimate the amount of risk that our, es our estimates do provide in our project. There are much more detailed and complex uh, analyses that can be done. They can run through different possible scenarios uh, and do that repeatedly to actually come up with um, probabilities. Now that I've entered all that information, um, I don't have to worry that I have a blank up above here or down below, but I can come down here and I can enter a de desired completion time. And we should be seeing something that's very similar to what Microsoft Project told us, right? 122 days approximately. It says I would have a little bit over 50% chance of getting done within that time period. So um, we could modify the spreadsheet so it would actually, we could enter the probability that we would want to see, but we can also just come up here and enter, for example, 130 days. It tells us that would be 85% probability of being done uh, within 130 days. And if we go to 135 days, we find that... Um, we could probably have a 95% chance of getting done based on the variability in our estimates. Okay, so we might want to add an extra uh, 13 days or so to our timeline. We might want to add uh, extra resources in order to uh, pay for labor, pay for any materials that would be required if those... Um, tasks that it looks like here this one has a lot of variance in it so a high degree of variability that one might be more likely to actually um, go over okay so that's how we do a simple uh, PERT analysis that can answer questions such as what is the project duration based on TE what's the chance that the project will be completed in the duration of our current critical path that was 50 percent what time should the project manager estimate if they want to be 95% sure the project will be completed within that time period? Looks like 135 days. What amount of buffer time should be added? Well, approximately 13 days in this case. So hopefully that gives you enough information on how to conduct a PERT analysis that you can go on to the next step and actually do one on your own and answer these questions. Life. Good morning, sun. How are you? Skies above, jeeps 